Hello Taco Tacticians. Sorry it's been a while since uh, we've had a chance to film anything. Uh, I had some health issues there so it's kind of kept me down. But I kind of want to just uh, touch base to show a little bit of things what we're doing once we're starting to feel better now. But I uh, decided to make a rod wrapping machine and if anybody knows me from my past of my archery business, my fishing tackle business and stores, uh, I was a king of uh, making stuff out of scraps. <laughs> but anyhow, this is what we've done here. I've used actual, the, the base is uh, light bars for trucks. For the four-wheel drives, I had the big KC lights on them back in the day, what have you. So that's what I've done there. I had two of them that uh, actually joined together with a hinge and a knob so I can unscrew that, flip the hinge, and then uh, separate the two so I can easily store it. Um, I've got one more out there that I just hadn't had a chance to build yet uh, to, for an extension to make longer rods, but uh, this will do eight foot, fairly simple. Uh, that's about all I'm gonna fish with or repair locally. But um, what I've done here is, I'm gonna come down here real slow here. Uh, I 3D printed the stands. I had some old pieces of acrylic floating around and uh, made the stands. 3D printed the bearing blocks, so I put my sealed bearings in, inside of here. Um, had old sewing machine motor around here. I had to order the pulley. The pulleys were $13, I think, uh, through Amazon or eBay, can't remember. Um, same with the chuck. I had to get this chuck. I ordered that through uh, Jan's Netcraft. And then, of course, got my box with my switch on and off, and I got a uh, rheostat controller. Uh, for drying purposes and I also I spent $15, $20, whatever on a pedal so I can have hands free hit the pedal. Um, the blocks themselves I actually created on a 3D printer and I ordered these little bearings and I think these are bearings for like a CNC machines or uh, not CNC but um, uh, copier printers, the uh, 3D printers, what have you and then I took some 3 quarter inch rubber hose, heater hose, put over top of them uh, to make them a little bit bigger. Uh, just cut them little pieces, and stuck them on there, didn't have to glue them or anything. Uh, and then the uprights, I 3D printed these. I found a file somewhere uh, and kind of did multiple things, but uh, I ended up having to, to redo a few of them and remake a few uh, of my own design. And so now they're actually fully adjustable in height. So to incorporate each rod, I've got it to where there we go. I've got it to where you got thumb screws to tighten it, loosen it. I've made these little arms here with the bearings over top of it, the wheels over top of it. Right now I'm just using a little rubber band. Yeah, I might upgrade to a little springs from time to time, what have you. But um, it actually works pretty good. I've got a fishing buddy of mine, partner that brought me some rods and needs some tender loving care. So that's what I'm about to do is uh, start working on them and uh, try to repair some of these rods and actually get into back into making a few rods, custom rods for myself to fish with. But it works fairly simple. I mean, you can control the speed either uh, by the rheostat knob on the, the the box, the control box, or by the foot pedal. Um, and just basically hit the foot pedal and there it goes. Spinning all the way around. Sorry about the cam work, guys. Sorry about that. And you can see we're kind of a little busy. We're making a few jigs and spinner baits and painting up some crank baits. Finally feeling halfway hoot and hollering good again, so get back into my little tackle making and having fun uh, being retired. Hey, sorry it took so long. We'll get some more videos out to you hopefully soon. We'll see you then.